I've got a DIY version of the Blickman Quick Carb. Only, you know, probably not as good. You know, DIY, whatever. But, you know, Blickman's is like 180 bucks, And really, it's not all the parts. Totally aren't worth that much. All you're paying for is like reliability, dependability, and build quality, that sort of stuff. We don't need that in the DIY world. Let me show you mine. So this is the SureFlow. A little dark here, sorry. SureFlow model, blah, 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 blah. So, got T fitting with uh, that's the carb stone right there. You got two feet of uh, airline right here. Then we'll come into the carb stone. Got into the pump out here. Um, 18 inches of hose on either side. Don't know if that really matters. I'm using standard size beer line, 3 16th inch. And um, yeah, so all the parts probably cost me about maybe 40 bucks. I uh, got the pump free from work. I don't know if you can see right here, uh, this fitting is actually cross threaded on because the threads were most like kind of half stripped on the outside. So I had to basically just force it on with a lot of Teflon tape. And uh, yeah, that's why we weren't using the pump at work anymore. So um, I tested it with a little bit of sanitizer and so far it's worked. So now I'm gonna sanitize everything for the run, get it all hooked up, and then uh, yeah, see how it goes. Another thing, this pump, goes up to three gallons a minute and it's a little bit overpowered so I have this this is a, it's a router speed control from Harbor Freight and yeah, I'm gonna use that because you know to uh, basically slow it down and uh, not burst any hoses or mess things up too much so I'm gonna hook it all up and see how it goes. Okay, kinda hard to see there, but we are all hooked up. Got coming in from the out port there. And then coming in, yeah, all hooked up. Here, so we're gonna go ahead and turn on our pump. That was an experience. Um, the pump is way too overpowered for uh, what I got it set for, the air pressure, 12 PSI. It was pushing it back, the beer back through the air stone. Uh, so I turned it all the way down as far as I could on the router speed control. And then bumped the PSI up to 15. So yeah, I'm gonna have to find a lower powered pump to make this work. Yeah, we're gonna see how this one goes and then uh, check it in an hour and see how well we're carbonated. So I've been carbonating for about an hour and just did cleaned up the pump. Now I'm gonna see how this thing pours. Yeah, it's actually not too bad. No, not as much head as I would like, but It actually kind of worked. Um, yeah, probably be good tomorrow. My 
first time tasting my IPA. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I kind of used some old hops, so mm, probably wasn't a good idea. Uh, let's clean out the freezer. There is definitely bubbles. There's carbonic bite. Uh, yeah, nice quick way to carb up. Uh, I'm gonna try it on a smaller pump that I've got. Um, nice little 12 volt one that I have. Um, this one. That one's just too powerful, I think. Uh, with my router control, I had to turn it all the way down. Um, so that the pressure that the pump was creating was less than the pressure I had set for uh, the CO2. So, yeah, I'm going to try it with that. It's kind of nice because it's a smaller pump as well. So, um, I'll give that a shot and see what I can come up with. Alrighty, so I swapped out my way overpowered pump for this little guy. And this is supposed to be like, supposed to be like two gallons a minute. It's made for like hot water applications. I was using it for my two gallon mash tun. And, uh, Seems to be flowing through pretty well. Right now I've got it hooked up to a half amp power supply, but it's rated for higher than that. So I think I'm gonna hook up a more powerful uh, starter power supply to uh, get a little bit more low, but it doesn't look like it's adding more CO2 right now. Yeah, that's a nice little uh, tiny setup right there. Look at that. That's fits in the palm of your hand. Ignore all the mess of hoses there. <coughs> yep. So I'm gonna I'm gonna disconnect this and then uh, see how the next pipe pours. I guess it's cool because like these pumps are like you can find them on eBay for like ten bucks or on Amazon for. 20 bucks or something like that. You can find them real cheap. And, uh, yeah, as long as you don't have, like, uh, any kind of solids in there, it's going to work pretty well. Yeah, so, so far, this has turned out to be a nice low cost alternative to the Blickman uh, Quick Carb. So, if you want dependability and reliability, you know, spend 180 bucks for Blickman, but if you want some, uh, like fiddling and wiring and Teflon tape wrapping and and stuff and if, if you like the DIY life yeah just go cheap check that out that's after the next little pump had to go a little bit longer got some better head on it Good stuff. That little guy right there. Bam. It's about the size of a little tea fitting. So, yeah, whatever works. Okay, so I swapped out my three gallon per minute pump, the uh, SureFlow, for this little um, 12 volt guy right here to make my DIY quick carb. Still gonna sort out a proper power supply for it because I've got the hand half amp one on there. And I've seen it been looking online seen the ship with two amp power supplies so maybe the higher amperages uh, give a little bit higher flow. Don't know that flow really matters that much. Um, again when you when you buy from Blickman like they'll have done the research, whereas the DIY stuff is so. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's cheaper, but again, you're getting like what you're paying for when you pay like three or four times the price 
is you're paying for all that R&D, you're paying for that reliability, so if you don't have the DIY spirit, then definitely get the workman. Um, but I still need to try this out on a fresh keg of beer because um, I basically just continued to um, to carbonate the one that I'd already started on, and uh, it seemed to add some carbonation because the the output was foaming up. So that's an indication of it that it was um, still carving, and it did that for about like 15 or 20 minutes. So it seemed like it was still adding carbonation, and I got um, a better head on the final. Well, uh, on the second pint that I pulled after I used this guy but um, so check back in a few weeks or whenever I get a chance to brew another batch of beer and we'll see if I can uh, have success carving up a keg of beer with just this little guy right here so yeah Subscribe and then you can uh, see it next time. See you around.